Hi friends, it's Saturday, March 23rd, and this is uh, my floss tube, and I'm Katie Carney. I don't remember what floss tube this is, but that's okay. <laughs> I figured out a couple videos. I had video 97 twice in a row, and I think that about shows where my brain's been the last couple months, and I know that you all love me anyway. Um, I recorded three weeks ago, and it was a very, it had been a very difficult few days, few months and it was very difficult to record and you all really were so kind sending me messages commenting reaching out you have no idea what that meant to me um, and what that continues to mean to me to not feel alone is um thank you very 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 much I'll never ever be able to thank people enough for being so kind to me. I don't deserve it, but I am truly grateful. Um, time is helping. Today has been a bad day though, so I am glad that I'm recording and that I get to spend some time with all of you and show you what I've been working on. Um, I have been keeping so busy that there hasn't been time to dwell and uh, I um, had some time and it led to some dwelling this afternoon, and that's okay. We're going to have good days, and we're going to have bad days, and we're going to have good moments and bad moments, and that's just, it is what it is. Um, I got new flooring in my bedroom, which I thought about recording in there today, but I could, you can't see my floor when I record anyway, so what do you care? <laughs> I got, I I don't know if it's a laminate or vinyl. It's the one that's made out of wood shavings, so you can't saturate it with water. So I think that's laminate, but I could be wrong. Um, we had a handyman come in, and he did it, and I absolutely love it. And I'm hoping at the end of the summer when it's a little cooler and I've had time to, you know, save some more money for it's not infinite, um, to do the spare bedroom. I'd love to have that done before Christmas when we have house guests. And then the long-term, very long-term goal would be these two rooms where my clothes and craft stuff is. Um, the bathroom's the last on the list because that carpet is new. Um, and much as I hate carpet in a bathroom, because I do, it's just me. I'm the only person who uses it unless we have guests. And then, I mean, it's not like we've got a toddler accidentally pooping on the floor. <laughs> so I love my new floors, all that to say. And then the weekend before that, I had family come in to see my grandmother, which was, um, which was wonderful. Uh, so that was nice. Um, they were in my dad and his brothers, it was the weekend of our St. Patrick's Day Parade, and they all marched, so my dad and his brothers were here, and then that Saturday, my cousin, my cousin-in-law, I guess, and their kids came, uh, so that was great. Fra was beside herself with joy. She loves when the family comes. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Um, it was unexpected, um, my cousin's coming, so that I had been planning to go away um, for the day to New Jersey, and I had to cancel that, but that's okay. Uh, it was a nice day. It was good to be with them. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was hard, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, anyway, you don't care, I mean, you do care, and I'm so grateful that you care, and I love you all, <laughs> but you're actually here to hear about my cross-stitching, um, and you get a lot of work on things when you only work on one thing. You do not get that much work on things when you work on 500 things. But we're working with our feelings. Um, so first off, I have two FFOs. Um, this one is kind of stuck in the back there, but this is my March Quaker. And I FFO'd that last weekend. I laced it and got it done. Actually, I did it on the 16th of March, and then I just left it as St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> until I showed all of you. Um, I'm using on all of these an 18 count oatmeal Ada, whatever you can get at Michael's. Um, I got a big roll of it. And this is the DMC conversion. So whatever the called for DMCs were. And I laced them onto foam core and that's it. 
My next FFO is, ooh, that was, hello. Um, my next FFO is hideous. I probably shouldn't show you, but I'm gonna. So it, the pattern itself is beautiful. Um, I was, of course, Michelle McGraw. Uh, this is, I don't know how to say her name, but Kirlin, I think, Kirlin's Needle Arts. Um, and it's Designs and Stitch by Carolyn Robbins. And it's Shamrock Hill. Her stuff is beautiful. I could spend a lot of money there and I have to like not go to her Etsy shop. I used the Call For DMCs. The only thing I wish, I think I used, let's see, five, 15 stitches of this. And the only thing I wish is maybe a little more of this to break up some of the green. Um, but it was a lot of fun to stitch and I decided I was going to do a flat fold and then I forgot how to do a flat fold and then I was like committed to what I had already done and there was great panic and I have to go buy some like ribbon to put her on the outside so you can't see how ugly it is. <laughs> but here's my flat fold and I like I said I need to some ribbon here. It's just um, some Pioneer Woman fabric and I meant this to be the outside, but it didn't, that's not what happened. And the top, I'm not showing you the top, it's too ugly and I'm ashamed, but I, it looks fine. Like, if you're not like looking at the top, you can't tell. It's cute. So there it is. I used a 18 count opalescent Ada that I got at Hobby Lobby back when they carried things like cross stitch supplies. So, you know, the good old days. Um, and I finished that last Friday night. So then it was time to concentrate on my Santa who is now completed. So this is my first quarter Santa, 1996. Um, I messed up the back stitching here and then I forgot to do the back stitching here and I decided not to put any of these snowflakes in, but the biggest mistake I made <laughs> was I read the pattern and in my mind, this was the gray, the, the, the symbol, I, I don't know. So anyway, instead of being a tree, mine is just like a topper. It's like a It is what it is, my friends. I actually don't think it looks bad. And I don't think the back stitch that I messed up looks bad. It's like me, not perfect. So anyway, this one's done. And next up is 1997, and I have no idea what that looks like. Hang on, let me pull it out so we can all find out together. I'm back. Well, we have clearly entered the 1990s backstitch phase because the border on this is backstitched again. But I do like this. It's like a little sampler Santa. Oh, and the little, oh, that says Christmas. I can't wait to mess up that backstitching. Um, so anyway, this will be due by April, May, the end of June. I'm not even starting it for a little while. I love them, but they are a lot of stitching. You know, they really are. All right, next. We're drinking tea. We're not. We're drinking coffee for comfort. Next is my prayer of St. Francis. I am using DMC 154. I am on my fifth hank of that. It's by My Big Toe Designs. I am doing this in one color. I apologize that this picture is awful. It's the one that came with the pattern. And I am leaving out this section right here. And I'm almost there. I will start the next row of letters probably either tomorrow morning or Monday morning before work. And here's where I am. 
So since you saw it the last time, I think I did the last, I can't remember. I think I did, I think I had the first row of letters done. So I did two more rows of letters and then that border row. And I, I haven't finished that little bit yet. I ran out of thread at lunch. I get a half hour lunch and I was like really pushing it. I was at like 30 minutes complete. And I was like, well, I can thread my needle, but I cannot finish these last like 10 stitches. We've done too much. So anyway, um, I don't, I think I like it. It feels like, so the color is, it's a 32 count Winter Wishes by Hand Dye by Stephanie. And I can't tell if the fabric itself is dyed so that it's kind of looking a little dingy or if it's dingy because I've been working on it for two years and I do a lot of this in hand. And I don't know, because it's hand dyed, I don't know if I'm going to be able to to wash it. And I it needs washed. <laughs> I think the DMC won't run. I've never washed. I've never washed a cross stitch. This is the first time that I've been like, mm, I think I want to wash this. Probably because it's for fra. Anyway, there it is looking great. We're closing in on. So when I finish this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm actually closing in on halfway. So I'm here and I need to do those two there. And then I'm gonna do this little border, skip all this, and then this little border. And then it's really only 10 more rows across. The problem being, of course, those rows take me like a week because I don't work on it enough. <laughs> I'm like averaging a row a week which is great, except it's not. But I don't want to work on it all the time. You know what I mean? Like I'm enjoying my other projects and I don't usually work on anything consecutively like this. Like I work on this almost every day. So I don't know what to do because I want to have it done for Mother's Day. And that's only, that gives me like six weeks before I'd have to go and get it framed. I should just work on it now. I can't work on it in the evenings because I sit next to her and she always asks what I'm working on and it's for her. And I don't want to tell her because then she'll say, oh no, what am I going to do with that? Where am I going to put it? She doesn't sound like that, but that's what she'll say. So I guess I'll just keep on keeping on and when it gets down to the wire, I'll panic and work on nothing else and then I'll get it done. Uh, so yeah, we're moving along slowly but surely. So that was my first whip. We are not even close to done. Um, my first whip, and then I mean, you know, I everything except for March Quaker that I had finished, I worked on quite a bit. So the next is the Fabulous House series. I'm working on house number one. And I have it in this amazing bag by my friend Steph. Hang on, who's texting me? Hang on, it's work. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, fabulous house number one is Santa's house. I am using the called for DMC, but there are two classic color works called for. One of which is Plymouth Rock, which I don't have, so I'm using the DMC. And one of which is a Ladybug by Classic Color Works, which I also don't have. And I am using Weeks Turkish Red instead, and best decision I've made. So anyway, here's my flosses, which are already getting kind of messy, considering I've only put like a couple colors into this, but that's okay. This is the 347, by the way, and this is the Turkish red. It's just a more vibrant red. I'm using a 40 count Bistitch Me Stonehenge, which is one of my favorite of her um, fabrics. And the last time you saw it, <clears throat> I had really only done the border and I had some naked reindeer. So I'm really moving. So I added the red in 
and blessed be to God, I was able to carry <laughs> without seeing through it. I got the reindeer completed. I added some more snowflakes. I started in on the roof. Um, so yeah, I'm loving it. It's hard to see the 40 count when you're working with the white for some reason. The other colors are okay, but the 40 count, I'm like... <sighs> but yeah, I love this. Love, love, love it. It's just how my hoop's sitting. I had a momentary panic that I had messed up the corner. So yeah, I worked on this for a couple days. And, I mean, it moves right along when you actually work on it. I just don't work on it enough. I don't work on anything enough because I'm working on everything. So then, found out my family was coming. Had a little bit of, like, a panic about it. I had had a shopping cart full at 123 Stitch for the entire week. Hadn't ordered anything and been like, I cannot spend any more money. And then my family came and I was like, well, I'm spending a ton of money and feeding them. I'll just place my one, two, three stitch order while I'm at it because what's another bit of money? It's fine. So <clears throat> it's really my market order. Except I'm going to show it to you now before I show you my next whip. It's really my market order, except it's only two things from market. Um, it is Teresa Kogut's Faith in Stitches. This, um, it's a Sacred Heart, and I love it. This is going to sound silly, but I really want like a corner, like a kind of prayer corner of my house somewhere where I can sit. That's not my bed. I pray in my bed a lot. And sometimes I feel like I'm not giving my prayer. I'm tired when I get into my bed. So I'm not giving it the attention it deserves. So I really want to have like a designated space. Um, so anyway, I would like to put this there someday. This was the one thing at market that I had to have, had to have it. And it is beautiful. Um, and I really love it. I think she did a wonderful job. It says, almost holy heart of Jesus, foundation of every blessing. I adore thee. I love thee with a lively sorrow for my sins. I offer these poor hearts of mine. And then I also got from Teresa Kogut. She knocked it out of the park this year, and God saw. I love this. I think made by, I think Michelle from Made by Michelle McGraw just started this. She didn't send me her work, her a picture of her start though. So I don't know. Maybe she just thought about it. And I just love this. And then I think the nicest thing was not the nicest thing. It also for when you're finished came with one of her angels in the back. So it is beautiful and I love it. And for that, for And God Saw, I got where's the floss list? Huh. For some reason, I got, or is that the Faith and Stitches? No. I got Barn Door Black Coffee and Glazed Carrots for some reason. It's the first three fancy flosses that it calls for. But I don't know why I only got... Oh! So it calls for... Oh, jeez. Calls for three classic color works, which I got. And then it calls for one, two, three, four, five weeks. One of which is Havana, another which is Oscar, and another is Chestnut, all of which I have. 
And then I don't know if I have beige, but I could put Ekru in its place. And then Tarragon, I don't know if it has. So that's why. I did not get fabric for either of those. I don't know when I will start them. My next one, two, three stitch part of haul was, I don't know if you've all watched Vana lately, but she started, um, do you remember Jesus? Do you remember my Jesus um, that I did last year and I won first prize at the fair? Jesus by Ver 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 Vervaco, the artist who designed the Jesus, she did one of the Blessed Mother holding Jesus um, at during Holy Week. And um, so I don't, I guess you can just hear this long story. I did this whole, anyway, it doesn't matter. I want to do that. You can get it on Etsy, which is great because that means it'll go into Pattern Keeper and this will be easier to stitch. Um, I'm going to use the DMC conversion that I used from last time. But she, I copy Vana all the time. All the time. Blanket statement. Vana. Go watch her if you don't. I'm sure you, everybody watches her. No, Nobody in the world watches me that doesn't watch her. But anyway, she, instead of using just an off-white Ada this time, she used a dyed fabric and I was like oh I like that so this is smoky white Lugana so it's like pretty white like it's an off-white but there's a little bit of smoke through it and this is 25 count I don't remember that being what I ordered <laughs> I don't think that's what I ordered I would not have ordered 25 count, huh? Gonna have to look back at my order. But anyway, maybe it's gonna be a tiny little Mary and Jesus. 25 count from 14, whoa. So that was one thing. And then the last thing I ordered from 123 Stitch, I am rambly today, guys, I'm sorry, forgive me. Um, she is also, oh, I just got something on the pattern. I don't know what it is. Um, she's also doing the Prairie Schooler Angels. So I ordered this from 123. I've never ordered a new Prairie Schooler since ever. And people talk about how the new leaflets aren't as nice. They're correct. This is such like cheap paper, flimsy. And then you, once you take it out of the bag, I tried to put it back in, um, and I, I didn't rip my pattern, but it got attached to my pattern. Um, so not impressed with the printing from Hoffman on the Prairie Schooler patterns. I now understand what everybody says. But anyway, Vana... Hang on, I found her flicker, making my life easier. So, she is doing these all together, and I'm copying her. So this is her flicker, can you see that? That's what she has done so far. She um, graphed out the Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Gloria. <laughs> um, and it's over one. So I am, again, copying her. And I got, she very kindly on her blog gave you not only the letters, but she also wrote out the directions um, and what to do. So I'm using the called for DMC. <clears throat> And I just hit the buy them all button. I did not need to buy them all, but I didn't feel like pulling them all, so I got them all. The letters will be in this color, this gold. Um, and I am indeed using the black fabric. It's a 32 count. 
Um, linen. I really wanted an even weave, but they didn't have it. So linen it is. Ooh, you can see right through that. So I don't have a ton done so far. The outline of the first is done and the half of the second. I photocopied the pattern because the pattern is so cheap. Um, but because it's a booklet, booklet, not a piece of paper, it didn't photocopy well. So I'm currently recharting it into Pattern Keeper to just make... <coughs> <coughs> Hang on, I think I need a drink. Oh, excuse me. I'm currently um, recharting it in Pattern Keeper so it's easier. All right. I'm actually not done with haul yet. I've got a couple other things. I had to go, last Friday I took Fraud to the doctor, and then we went for pizza for dinner, and she wanted to get some books for her great-grandchildren, so she sat in the car and I picked out some books. And I found this at Books A Million, and I had to get it. So, it's a little Harry Potter cross-stitch kit that I certainly did not need. And it came with a darling little hoop and these adorable little Harry Potter flosses, two needles, which I definitely don't need, and then, sorry about the crinkling, um, the 14 count Ada to do the patterns that came in the book, which are, gives you directions on how to stitch, there's little pictures, but the patterns are The Boy Who Lived, Platform Nine and Three Quarters, Hedwig, oh sorry, I was trying to show the patterns, and then the crest. And I'm not going to lie, I am kind of excited to start all of those. I think I'm just going to put them, I have a chair, or I have a spot, a spot, I'm like Sheldon, Big Bang Theory. I have a spot downstairs with my stitching stuff. And I think these are just going to go down there to be worked on when I don't have anything else. Like I finished, like last night I finished the Santa. And then I was like, oh, I got like 20 minutes before I go up. So that'll be there. Anyway, I also got my monthly Fabulous House. This is number four. It is another beautiful pattern. There, a lot of them are very white, so I'm glad that I switched my fabric out. And then I've gotten some lovely packages in the mail. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not going to mention them all because that would be weird, I think. Maybe not weird. I've gotten some lovely packages in the mail. But I have a friend, Kat, who watches all of my floss tubes because she's the best. And she has not stitched since probably the 90s. Um, and she always says that she has this cross stitch pattern that she's going to work on. And, you know, I got the mail one day and it was <laughs> Leisure Arts, The Enchanted Slay. Oh, I love this one. I don't have it. So I was thrilled. So not only did she send me this, but she sent me her start. So it's like saving stitches. So here it is. It's on a 14 count Navy Ada. And where's the picture? I'm pretty sure. So there's some of the green. This is the back of the sleigh. There we go. No, it's the hang on. It doesn't really matter. Why am I acting like it matters? Anyway, her beautiful stitching. And all of her DMC, which I will use this DMC um, for it. And then I probably won't keep it because I'm sure, because these are very old DMCs and the dye lots are definitely going to be different. But I'm so excited to do this. I love Leisure Arts, as you all. Save the vintage patterns, my friends. Save them. So that's, <laughs> cannot work on that until Christmas Spirit is done. Cannot work on Christmas Spirit until Prayer of St. Francis is done. We have a list. But we keep starting things. <laughs> uh, and then tonight, when I go downstairs and stitch with Fra, I will start April Quaker. 
So that's April, and I'll be doing this on my 18 count oatmeal Ada. And the colors are DMC 352, which is a sherbet orange, DMC 502, which is a sagey green, maybe not sage, I don't know, and five DMC 524. So here are the three of them together. <clears throat> So that'll be my small for tonight. And then, lest you think that all it is is new starts around here. <clears throat> Sometimes it is. Um, I'm going to, when I finish the outline and the words on the angels, I am going to put them away. And I'm pulling out Little House Needleworks Kringles. And... I don't have the actual pattern here, but I'm using the called for classic color works and what color am I using? And I don't remember what color fab, oh wait, Persian gray um, fabric. So that's going to be the next um, whip that I work on because I do have to work on whips once in a while. I can't just start all the new things, even though I want to. I will say that starting new things has been making me feel better, so I have been <laughs> allowing myself to start more than I normally would. Um, anyway, this was fun. I, um, I needed a little pick-me-up, and you all are that for me, so thank you. Thank you again for all your comments and reaching out, um, please keep reaching out because I'm not great about reaching out right now. I'm not great about it on a random Tuesday, but right now I'm really terrible at it. Um, so thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, who knew? I mean, I always knew people were good. My friends were good. I just, I feel really lucky. Um, so Although it's not technically a year, last year before Palm Sunday, which is tomorrow, it was Saturday morning that I went into AFib. And then it was Sunday, Palm Sunday, that I went to the hospital and then walked through a very horrible <laughs> Holy Week. Um, so I am... I've been a little nervous all day, <laughs> irrationally, um, but so far, knock on wood, so far, so far, we're not even going to say the end of that sentence, um, and just hopeful that I don't, go, that I just, let's just hope everything stays okay, um, and know again how grateful I am for all of you and thank you again thank you for watching and thank you for your comments and I can't wait to see you again in two or three weeks bye